Today's CNC FAQ is what thickness of aluminum can I cut with my CNC router? Well, the answer to that really is based on the cutter that you're using. Uh, every cutter has a specific uh, flute length and that would be the maximum cutting capacity for that particular end mill. Now, when you're using a CNC router, specifically a desktop or, or hobby uh, grade router, it's important to remember that the CNC is not designed like a CNC mill would for taking aggressive, thick, fast cuts. Um, so for instance, on the Stepcraft machine, we find that uh, taking passes of, you know, one half to three quarters of a millimeter at, you know, around 10 millimeters a second feed rate happens to work really well. Um, we specifically recommend a end mill from Amana. It's a, called an O-flute end mill. It's an eighth inch diameter and it's specifically made for cutting aluminum. It works really, really well on our machines. Um, 6061 is the aluminum that we recommend. Uh, some of the other aluminums are like 5052 tends to be really soft and gummy. 7075 is a lot harder and, and it's, it's a little more difficult to machine. So you would have to go uh, less aggressive on your cutting pass. Now, the other thing to remember is if you're cutting a thicker piece of aluminum, the, the deeper you make the channel, the more chance there are for chips to fall inside that channel. So it's important to have some sort of chip removal. Uh, a vacuum usually doesn't work. We recommend using uh, compressed air, uh, like a flexible nozzle that you would connect to an air compressor to blow the chips out of the way. Once your channel gets deeper than about one and a half times the diameter of the end mill, I recommend that you do, instead of a profile pass around the outside, that you actually do a pocketing tool path to make sure that your channel around the outside is wider than the thickness of the cutter. That way, if chips do fall back into the channel, you're not smashing the chips into the side. Uh, if your channel is the same width as the end mill, then there's no place for the chips to go when the end mill is spinning. So it smashes them into the side of the, of the uh, part and it ends up heating up the bit, which could end up with chatter. Or you can eventually break the bit uh, or you weld the aluminum uh, fragments to the end of the bit, thus ruining it. So I always recommend when you're going deeper than that to uh, run a pocket tool path around the outside. So that way you've got some play in there. So if the chips fall in, they, they can still be blown out, but they won't force themselves into the sidewall of the aluminum part. Aluminum's tricky. Uh, it can be done with great success with the machines. You just gotta have a little bit of patience and really pay attention to your feeds and speeds. Uh, don't try to push it. Remember, these machines are not uh, aggressive uh, CNC mills like you would see on a, on a 50 to $100,000 um, you know, industrial CNC. Uh, so you can get the job done. You just got to make sure that you have patience and that you take care to make sure that your settings are, are appropriate for your job. So that's it for today's CNC FAQ.